In today's lesson, we are going to be learning about plants. This lesson is called Introduction to Plants. Let's go over some vocabulary. Our first word is plants. Say plants. Plants are living things that have leaves and roots and make their own food. And our last vocab word is soil. Say soil. Soil is the top layer of dirt where the seeds or plants can grow. So you're going to be learning about plants the next few weeks. Plants are a type of living thing that you can see all around you. All living things need food, water, and air. People and animals are living things because they all need food, water, and air. In the same way, plants like trees and flowers are also living things that need food, water, and air. Living things also reproduce or make babies that look like themselves. Since plants are living things, they also reproduce to make other plants that look like themselves. If you look in this picture, you can see different things that are living. Okay, I want you to try to name some of these things at home. So let's see, we have a tree. We have a cactus plant. We have other different kinds of plants. We have a person because people are living things. We have a kitten. We have a toad, an ant, and a rooster. So these are all living things. They all need food, water, and, and air to stay alive, to survive. So our So there are many different kinds of people, animal, and plants that live in our world. You may... So there are many different kinds of people and... Oh my gosh. So there are many different kinds of people, animals, and plants that live in our world. You probably recognize many of the living things in this picture. In some ways, people, animals, and plants are all alike. They are all alive. They need food, water, and air to grow and stay alive. But plants, people, and animals are different in many other ways. Unlike animals and people, plants do not make sounds, and they cannot move from one place to another. Plants need four basic things in order to live and grow. Food, water, air, and light. If a plant has these things, then it can survive, even in a little crack in the sidewalk. The yellow flowering plant in this picture is called a dandelion. A few weeks ago, a tiny dandelion seed floated through the air and landed in this crack where there was just enough soil for it to begin to grow. So remember, soil is the top layer of dirt where plants can grow. This dandelion gets plenty of sun here in the sidewalk, and it also gets plenty of air, water, and nutrients. So nutrients are like the vitamins that you get from your food. This shady forest is home to many different types of plants from the tallest tree to the tiniest flower. A forest is a large area of land where many trees grow close together. Animals that live in the forest depend on these plants for food and for their homes. This forest is just one environment or place where living things live of many on this earth. This is another type of forest. There are some major differences between the colors and shapes of the leaves on these trees and the leaves on the trees in the last picture. In a later lesson, you will learn about two different types of trees. 
This environment looks very different from the forests we saw in the last images. All plants need food, water, air, and light. But not every place in the world has exactly the same amount of food, water, air, or light. This is a desert where it is hot and dry all year round. Plants that grow here, such as this cactus, have been adapted to a life in sandy soil with very little rainfall beneath the blazing hot sun. That tough little dandelion and the trees you saw earlier would wither and die if you tried to plant them here. And the cactus in this desert would not be able to live in either the sidewalk crack or the forest. Different types of plants grow in different environments or places. This picture shows an underwater environment. Fish may be the first things that come to mind when you think about underwater life, but there are plants down there too. Underwater plants need the same things other plants need, including food, water, air, and light. This environment is not a forest, not a desert, and definitely not underwater. This is a city park made when some people gathered seeds and planted them in the ground. People plant grass seeds on lawns and in parks so there are nice places to play and relax. People plant flowers and trees to make the world a prettier place. Some plants can be grown indoors. Maybe you even have one in your home or in our classroom. If so, someone needs to water it from time to time so it stays healthy and green. All plants have four basic needs. Repeat them after me. Say food, water, air, and light. But not all plants can grow in all the same places on earth. A dandelion cannot grow in the desert and a corn plant cannot grow underwater. Over the next several days, you will learn all about different types of plants and plant parts. And you will understand why plants are so important to animals and people. Plants are so cool. So they are like us, they need food, water, air, and light in order to survive. That is the end of the lesson, boys and girls. So go ahead and answer the questions.